Hey guys, what's going on? Kurt Jansen here from Third Island Productions. I'm really excited because I'm going to start doing these beginner tutorials. I'm going to call it Tutorial Tuesday for those who are interested. I'm probably going to release a tutorial once a week, maybe more, depending on how busy I am throughout the week, but I want to try and produce content that is really helpful to beginners because I remember when I first started recording and mixing and producing, there wasn't a lot of good content on YouTube. I mean, I'm sure there was, maybe I wasn't looking hard enough. But anyways, today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to set up your audio interface, really easy stuff. Um, this will probably be universal to all DAW users. If not, leave a comment below. Um, this is my first video ever, so bear with me. Also guys, if you could just do me one solid and hit the subscribe button and the little bell for the notifications. Uh, seeing more people subscribe will definitely fuel the fire for me to make more videos and help all of you out. So thank y'all so much. But anyways, let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing that everyone needs to acquire before being able to record anything is an audio interface. Usually people start out with a USB and this one right here is the best USB audio interface on the market. This is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. It has two mic inputs or preamps and two line inputs. Right here are your gain knobs, your line and your instrument switches. Line is what you have in if you're recording a microphone. Instrument is used to record a guitar or a, a TS, a tip sleeve a cord, a quarter inch. And this is your phantom power. You need phantom power to record any condenser microphone. This right here is direct monitor on and off. I usually keep it off because you don't need to have direct monitor. This, this is just for running uh, an external mixer. And this is your main volume and this is your headphone volume. You got one headphone input. Another thing to know when you are recording anything through these you always want to keep the levels at about nine o'clock you don't want to go higher it is more important to record lower because you always have room to increase the volume or gain when you record at really high levels it doesn't give you a lot of room to work with and can cause clipping here's the back of the scarlet very simple stuff we got your USB input here your right and left outputs here for your studio monitors. Alright guys, I'm going to make this very simple for you. This right here is called a TRS or a tip ring sleeve cable balanced. And these are what go into the outputs of your focus, focus right. Now, turn it around again. This is the right one. Plug that into the right. This is the left one. Plug it into the left. Turn it around. Okay, once you have plugged your TRS cables into the outputs of your Scarlett, then you go behind your studio monitors. And the other side of the TRS cable is an XLR. Usually, it is an XLR. It might be another TRS cable where you could plug it into right there into the monitor, but I use XLR. Plug it right in. You're good to go. Alright guys, what's going on? I'm back. I'm going to show you how to set up your Focusrite or audio interface inside your DAW. DAW stands for Digital Audio Workstation for those who do not know. My DAW of choice is Propellerhead's Reason. This will apply to other DAWs as well, such as Pro Tools, Cubase, Logic, Reaper, and other DAWs as well. So here we go. First thing you do, you go to Edit. You go all the way down to Preferences. And it automatically brings up audio. And that's what you want to be at. What you gotta look for is audio card driver. And it's already set on my Focusrite, ASIO Focusrite USB. 
Originally, it starts out on your DX primary sound driver. This is for Windows. I don't know how it looks for Mac users, so for Windows users, this should help you. But yes, click ASIO Focusrite USB. And when the check mark comes up, you should be ready to go. The sample rate, I keep at 48. And buffer size, I will explain here in a second. In order for whichever audio interface you bought, you have to go online and download the most updated driver. If you don't want to use a driver provided to your interface, you can always go on asioforall.com and download that driver. It's universal and has very low latency, but the ones that come with Scarlett works just fine. All right, guys, I'm going to explain to you what buffer size and latency is. So latency is basically the delayed time it takes for your audio signal to go through your preamps and then to your sound card of your DAW. When your buffer size is low, that decreases the amount of latency. When your buffer size is high, that increases the amount of latency. You want to record when your buffer size is low, and you want to monitor your mixes when your buffer size is high. The only reason you want to monitor your mixes when your buffer size is high is because if your buffer size is too low, it increases your CPU usage and causes a lot of popping and scratching noises that you necessarily don't want to hear when you're actually mixing your music. So yeah, here we are on our audio tracks. So what you do after you've set everything up in your preferences, you're going to go to this where it says in. You're going to do mono input because the Scarlet only has mono inputs. And you're going to do focus right USB 1 or 2, whichever you plugged your XLR or instrument cable into. You should be seeing signal coming right here. Should not be any clipping. That is why I said keep the gain knob at about 9 o'clock. For any recording you do, always keep it at 9 o'clock or lower. You don't want to go higher. But yeah, anyways, I hope this video was helpful to you beginners out there. I know people who have a lot more skill and know what they're doing don't really need to see this video. But I just remember, like I said, that it was really hard for me when I first started out. So I figured I would put out a good beginner video for people who are struggling. So, much love everybody. Hope you have a great week. I will be putting out another video next week. So, have a great one. Thanks.